Today we're going to talk about how to take care of an acoustic guitar. Maybe an old acoustic guitar that your dad had and he stuck it in the corner. You look at it and you think, it's not a Martin, it's not a Taylor. It sounds like garbage, it's all dusty, it's dirty, the strings are going to give me tetanus. What I have here is a few things that can take your old guitar and make it sound a whole lot better. At least make it playable. Let's get started. First we have a new setup for this particular video. We have the upfront cam. We also have the B cam above. So what we have here is an old Yamaha guitar, which a lot of people do have guitars just like this one. First off, you're going to notice that this thing is dirty. It's got dust on it, but you can see that this thing is dusty, dirty, grimy, dingy. Uh, it's been sitting in a corner for a lot of its life. So the first thing we're going to do is play it. It might be perfect. First we're going to tune. You can hear it go pink, 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 pink. That's the string being bound up. So that just means the nut needs to be lubricated. Okay, so we have a little bit of fret noise. So what's going on here is the neck is bowed the opposite direction as it should be. So we're going to set up the, the neck here. Basically what that means is the neck needs to be straight with the strings or offer some relief. So right now the neck is set back this way and it just needs to be brought back this way. So what's happening is this curve causing these strings to hit the fret wire when you ring it in these positions. That's that noise you're getting. It's not a big deal. All you got to do is simply get an Allen wrench that fits your guitar. Uh, some truss rod adjustments are up here and you'll take off a little cover. This particular truss rod adjustment is under body of the guitar. So, what we'll do, put this right in here, and it doesn't require much angle adjustment. So I'm going to switch to B cam, and you just turn it just a teeny bit one direction, retune, okay so that did help, we've reduced that noise, but we haven't gone far enough. Alright, let's try it again. You don't have to get the tuning exactly right when you're when you're adjusting the truss rod because chances are you'll have to go back, adjust it, retune, adjust it, retune. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it does need to be as close as you can get it, time permitting. That should do it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the strings off and clean this thing up. I'm just gonna unwind the strings, get the tension off of them, and then remove them from the guitar. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, well, that one just broke, so. So all the strings are off. So what I do is I hold the, the strings by the winding part, pull them all down so they're somewhat even. Take this broken one up here. Hold them in my hand and then wrap them around. And then stick this part through here. Kind of manages the, the dirty, the old strings a little better you can just toss those in the trash. So I'm gonna take this yellow rag and all I'm simply gonna do is just wipe this dust off of this guitar. If you 
look in here, there's cobwebs inside the guitar. Be careful if you have an electronics package in your guitar, because there's going to be wires inside here that you need to be aware of, be careful of. But just run this around. You don't have to touch all surfaces. The rag should do most of the work here. Just run it around the inside of the body. And if you're lucky, you'll pull out a spider. What we're going to use with that is this turtle wax, wax and dry. It's just a uh, water-based wax, turtle wax, quick and easy wax and dry spray wax. Spray the rag and wipe down the guitar. And then we'll go down the back side of the neck and we'll get the fretboard. We'll take care of that later. Alright, so now that we've wiped this thing down and got it clean, I'm going to use painter's tape, which is just this blue stuff, nothing special to it. Uh, I'm just going to use painter's tape to tape off the sound hole like that, and take some super fine or quadruple alt steel wool, just take a pad of it and go the direction of the grain just real small real lightly you don't have to scrub hard just don't apply a lot of pressure just wipe down the fretboard and then what we'll do is even lighter than that we'll go inside the frets or between the fret wires just on the wood real lightly just real light wipe so what normally happens is if you don't perform this particular step you get dirt and grime and oils and stuff from your fingers on the strings as well as the board itself and it soaks into the wood and it becomes dirty on the bottom side of your strings so it's dirty on the top side of your strings, obviously. Uh, so what you do is when you change the strings, you put clean strings back above a dirty fretboard, and the str and the strings will get dirty from the back side. From you know, the strings will get dirty from the dirt that's embedded in your fretboard. So your strings will wear out prematurely. They'll start sounding dull, and you'll feel like you'll need new strings all of a sudden and you just put strings on there doesn't make any sense right so what we do by this step is remove all that dirt and grime build up on the fretboard itself and the and the fret wires and what that does is clean the fretboard so that the new strings have a clean surface to sit on and don't get grime residual grime that's left over from the last time you played so I'm gonna take this yellow rag the one that's got full of dust that, that was full of dust to begin with and just wipe down, get all the steel wool dust off of here. So what we have now is a fresh, smooth fretboard. And what we need to do now is condition this wood. This is called boiled linseed oil available at your local hardware store you're gonna get a little bit on your paper towel just a little bit a little dab will do you and then we're just gonna wipe on the fretboard this linseed oil and this gives the wood exactly what it needs to be preserved for a long time it doesn't really have a bad smell Linseed is, is basically flax, so this is flaxseed oil, 
and just put it on there. There's nothing special. You don't have to buy the uh, expensive proprietary fretboard oil or anything. People use lemon oil. And then you just flip your paper towel over and wipe off the extra. You don't have to let it soak in. You don't have to let you know leave it for a while. What you put on is is plenty enough. It shouldn't be dripping. The fretboard shouldn't be wet. You shouldn't be able to touch it and then get you know feel like you have stuff on your fingers. We can remove our painter's tape. So then we're going to take our paper towel, turn it to a fresh spot where there's some oil on it, and we're going to get this little guy down here because it is wood and it is not finished and it needs a little love as well. Now the guitar is ready for new strings. I have three different sets so the difference between these and elixir strings are these are coated on the winding and not the entire string. Elixir is a famous string and they're very high dollar and they're very nice I just don't prefer the feel of the entire string being coated. So the Martins are coated with clear tone, whatever that means. The Diodarios are coated with EXP stuff and things, whatever that means. The Ernie Ball Paradigms are coated with liquid science and unrivaled matter technology. So there's your choices. These work really great, but they're 13s. Uh, I don't think that 13s are going to be right for this guitar, so I'm going to go with the Martin Lifespan SPs. They're 12s. They're phosphor bronze, so they should be a little more mellow than what the strings are on there now. We'll get them changed and we'll see how we like them. Push the string into the bridge, push the key in, and then pull up on the string, and that locks this, to this, this peg in the hole there. Same story on this one. Push the string in, push the peg in, and pull the string out, and that locks this into place. Push the string in, put in the peg, pull out on the string, locks it into place. So before I put the strings back in here, what we need to do is work on this nut. And what was happening earlier on the, with the old strings, the strings were binding where they go across this nut. So what I normally do is take a little mechanical pencil, and just put a little graphite in the nut on each crossing. Graphite is an excellent lubricant for this. We're going to start with the big E string, take it from the first peg out to the to the next one and cut it just past it. Push it into the tuning peg and wind it. You want to hold pressure on the string just to make sure it's going to wrap around the post as it should. Make sure it's wrapping downward from the hole that the string went through. Hold pressure on there and wind it. Go to the next string. It goes to this post, so we go out to this one, slightly past, and cut. Keep tension on it. Next string. So since you don't have a post out past here, kind of guesstimate the distance here, you know, bring it out here and make the cut. And we'll do the same thing in reverse on the right side. Alright, now we have all the strings changed and we do not have it in tune. Sounded better before, didn't it? So the first time I tune a new set of strings, I tune it a whole step down, which is where I normally keep my guitars. It just puts a little less tension on the strings from the get-go so they can have time to get settled. Alright, so what happens now is the strings are stretched, they're pulled taut, and what now they're going to continue to stretch and loosen and, and adjust to the tension being put on them. So what I normally do is to help along with that and what you can do with these strings because the winding is coated not the entire string. I wouldn't recommend doing this with elixirs 
is get your fingers underneath and just slightly do a twisting motion. Just pull, hold it down on this side and pull just ever so slightly a few places up the neck down here. Don't put a lot of pressure on the pull, just enough to stretch it a little bit. And now see what happens. That thing went back out of tune. So what we're going to have to do again is make another truss rod adjustment. But before we do that, I want to put this thing in standard tuning because that's going to adjust, that's going to have an effect on how much tension is put on the neck. Just a slight turn here. Shouldn't take a whole lot. Retune. Alright, so that's how to take your old guitar, make it look newer. It's not going to look like new. It's an old guitar. It shouldn't look like new. But it will sound and play like new, as long as the neck's not broken. I think you should be able to, to use what I gave you there and come, up, come out with a nice result. This just happens to be a friend of mine's guitar who uh, was kind enough to lend it to me so I can do this video. Clean the guitar up, get the dust off of it, put a new set of strings, put some oil on the wood that's bare, particularly the fretboard and the bridge. Lubricate the nut, make sure the strings aren't binding as they're, as they're being pulled and tuned one way or the other, and you'll have a nice result. Alright, I've been Thomas Thurman. You guys have been great. Take care of your guitars. Make them yours. Check out my good friend Mark Morrow's channel. He does great things with photography. Love you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Check out some of my other videos on my channel. Uh, if you want, if now that you've taken care of your guitar, you want to play a song or learn a new song, check out my channel. It has a bunch of songs on there. Like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. Love you guys.